kind of clicked it a little bit and it took a while to come up. I thought, oh no, we're going to have more problems. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome. So excited you're here. And I had no idea what I was going to do today. So I thought, well, Alton, you have new inks. Everyone always likes to see inks. So I thought, well, I'd share them with you. Hello everyone. So glad you're here. I um, just want to wish everyone in America, I didn't realise it's Thanksgiving Eve, <laughs> so I'm sure everyone's probably prepping for the big feast and um, everything tomorrow. We don't celebrate it here in Australia, so it wasn't even something that I, that I even thought, but thank you if you have got the time to join me tonight in the US otherwise if you catch it on the replay I hope you had a lovely day and didn't eat too much <laughs> okay excuse me mm. all right so I might just get straight into it I have the new sets of ink here from Altenew did everyone see the release um, I actually made four cards for the release just because I wanted to try them out in a few different ways and they are very similar to the other Altenew inks in a lot of ways but I found that the colour is more vibrant and um, and it's still it's a felt pad because that's one of the things I've noticed with the Catherine Pool inks which I love as well They've got a felt pad, but this one is, it's more similar to um, the old style. I'm going to get, I don't want to get my finger. I don't know if you can see that. It's not, it's similar, more similar to the Altenew felt pad, not the, um, I'll show you the other one. I should get one out and compare. See how these are kind of, it's hard to see, they're spongy. So I'm hopeful that the Alter new ones, I'm pretty sure actually that you won't need to fill these as often because they're sim more similar to the uh, other style but still more juicy. I hope that makes sense and a little bit softer. So that's kind of one of, my, one of the downfalls for me for the Catherine Pooler inks. I love all the vibrant colours and love the way they stamp. But I hate having to buy the refill. <laughs> I'd rather buy stamps. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, a foam pad. I'm sorry. Yes. So these are a felt pad. Thanks, Michelle. I'm saying the wrong thing. So these are not, um, they seem a bit softer than the previous Alter New felt pads. <laughs> let me say the right thing. <laughs> okay. So what I did, let me focus. There's three sets, so there's um, they have a lot of blues in the alternate range, but these are really quite pretty. Actually, I did I did stamp them out when I got them. This is how I store all my colours and what I have. Uh, a lot of the companies will put out um, cheat sheets that you can either stamp out on or um, print them out. I prefer to actually stamp them on the cardstock that I use every day so that I know exactly what it's going to look like and to be honest these are a couple of years old now so I probably do need to re-stamp them but yeah here are the colours so you see they're really they are really pretty and I mucked it up <laughs> I didn't do the lighter one here first they they are different to their um any other like I haven't seen these colours my colours to this especially this woodland escape I know this is called this throws me a bit this dusty rose one because it's um rose to me sounds like it should be pink and it does have that pink undertone but to me it looks more like an orangey pink so maybe dusty <laughs> I don't know but really like um really kind of foresty colours I reckon they're really pretty Anyway, so I had a lot of fun creating with these. And I did, this is the first time I'd ever stamped them. So I don't think they did too bad. I, me, it's because, you know, you've got to focus a bit. But it's quite a large stamp that I use when I stamp them out. 
but most of my cards I use the Blue Mountains and the Frosted Foliage sets for. And this card here, I really wanted to test the layering. Yes, we can. Um, they do stack up. And they... And I can fit... I don't know if anyone has those IKEA... I think they're the Alex straws. Um, the longer, wider ones that I keep my inks in. You might see it in my um, crafty space video. But the top three drawers are a little bit thinner than the bottom three drawers and I can fit the four high in the thinner drawer and it still closes easily. Okay so I thought I'd do like the layering stamping so that's a really big layered stamp there and and it did stamp really well. I also did some I don't know if you can see in the background here I did some watercolor wash and I did some splats with the stamp with the inks as well. Uh, this one here, I just did basic watercolouring, smooshed the ink onto a palette and then painted it out. And that worked just, I mean, as it should. It's a water-based ink, so we should be able to reactivate or activate it with some water and then paint with it. And that worked really well. I like that. And they mixed well as well. And then I did the layering stencil on this one. Um... And they blended really nicely through the stencil. And that's what we're going to be doing today, is some stenciling. And then I thought I'd bring out the big kahunas. <laughs> and um, I did like an ombre style, blended the whole background here. Also blended the bits that I die cut for the flower, as well as direct to paper. So I just took the ink pad and put it direct to paper and die cut some of that as well and that, that blended beautifully. If you take, Tracy has a question, if you take one group of alternate ink, do they all blend together like with alcohol markers? Typically, yes, they usually go from a lighter to a darker color and mostly they're in groups of four. There are a couple of sets that come in groups of six, but you'll find like that's three pinks and three greens and they would still blend with each other. And you can actually, these will work with all your other inks as well, all your other water-based inks. So it doesn't matter what brand you have, you can still use them with other dye inks. So really pretty colours. And they're a bit, the other thing that <laughs> I'm struggling with a little bit is the getting used to having a round um, ink pad. I know that, um, who is it, Ma Maker Fort? They have a, um, I don't know, I'm going to say hexagonal, but it could be more or less sides. <laughs> but I don't mind it. I'm getting used to it. And they, the lids unscrew as well. So you just um, screw them off and on. So they're not as likely to, if you do travel using your inks, I'm making this look really difficult now, aren't I? Um, if you travel then you don't have to worry about the lids coming off in transit. So I don't typically take my inks far, so that's not really a problem for me. One thing actually that Jen did say, so someone um, has trouble, I'm going to see if this works, and you can open them one-handed, so you can, she reckons you can sit it on a something, oh yeah, that works. So I just put like a non-slip, this is a piece of that, um, I keep this off to the side here, that non-slip mat from Tim Holtz. So if you had like a silicon, silicon mat or something, you can do that one-handed. Oh, okay, that works. So, and if anyone wants to know the size, look, they're 2.75 inches. <laughs> I don't know what that is in centimetres. I could work it out. Oh, it doesn't matter. It could take a while. So what I thought I might do today is some blending. I've got the beautiful Magnolia Ballerina set here. This has coordinating dye and stencil. I've not actually used the stencil before. There's also the 3D embossing folder. And you would have seen me use this before. I was going to do some... Um, 
craft of flowers today, but all the ones that I wanted to use, they're out of stock at the moment. So I didn't want to um, <laughs> show you something that you can't um, get if you didn't want to. It's really frustrating. I know how that feels. So I um, will come back to that idea next time. I, I just couldn't make up my mind. Like I said yesterday, I couldn't make up my mind what I wanted to do. So in the end, flowers won and the inks won just for something to play with because I haven't had much of an opportunity to play with these yet because I've been on holidays. And yes, we had a lovely time camping up at a place called 1770. Now, I'm thinking I might go with um, some really light colours here today. Excuse me. Uh, what have I got here? One of the detail blending brushes. Thank you, Michelle. 69.85 centimetres to be specific. <laughs> it can't be 69, it must be 6.9 centimetres. Because otherwise that'd be huge. <laughs> it would be 6.9 maybe. They do, I think they do seem smaller. Let me get one out. This is like one of the original sizes. Uh, does that give you an idea? They do look different the way they're manufactured though. You can get refills for them as well. But they did a lot of, I uh, think they've been um, working on this a lot in the background. About the shape and making it easier. They're more saturated inks. And it's meant to um, help get like a more even coverage, but and it's like anything. The more you use it, the more you get used to something. And I certainly use these inks, the Alton New inks, quite differently to the way that I use the Catherine Pooler inks. I um, really like the way they both work. I have don't really have any many other inks in my stash just those two brands because they're the ones that I have the best results with and for different reasons so I'm just going to do some light blending here I've got the this is the silver sage so it's I've already stamped out this um, magnolia ballerina uh, I used some pigment ink, so which one did I grab? The Nocturne. Did you see that Alton you actually have uh, re refills for their obsidian now? I was a bit surprised they hadn't done that earlier, but that's good. Yeah, these must be... Yeah, you can tell I'm starting to concentrate now. <laughs> but I thought we'd just do a quick live today because I know everyone's so busy. A lot of people in, like in the US, you guys are going to be busy hanging out with families and doing all the good stuff. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it, that makes sense. Deb, you're right. <laughs> Does do. Um, I might go, because I've got the jade or the eucalyptus. So I, might, I might do the jade. So these are numbered, these stencils, there's three in the set. So I might as well go to number two next. I thought I might change it up and add a slightly darker color this time, but still only keep it really pale and light. Mm. 
I did an update yesterday of my um, computer or the day before. Who else has um, ventured into, I'm, I'm probably the last person in the world, um, Windows 11. I finally did that. I got sick of getting the notifications and I thought it wasn't my smartest move ever because I knew I was going to be doing the live today. <laughs> but I did check to um, make sure that everything still worked. And then when I turned it on and it was quite delayed, I thought, oh, here we go. <laughs> but it worked, so I'm pretty happy. Yeah, they did put quite a bit of thought into these. And I, I know there's, I've never used them, but I always like the way that those, you know, the, I don't know, a lot of people use the stamping up stuff. But how they click their I don't even know if they do them anymore. You know how they flip them over, the lid becomes the back of it, and it looks very posh. <laughs> but I've never used it. I've never really had any stamping up stuff. I think I went straight to, um, like mostly, I think, Photopolymer stamps might have been starting to come in when I was beginning stamping. So that was, what, 2005? I started making cards. Well, they were those thin rubber ones that you could mount. Does anyone remember them? How's that? I know there's no such thing as a green magnolia. <laughs> but hey. All right. Where's number three? Um, so that one's got the branch and a couple of leaves. Uh, so that's that and that. Where's that leaf? Ah, uh, look, there it is. Probably needed the jade for that. I might go Silver's Age. I'm a little bit addicted to stencils now. I, um, because originally when the layered stamping happened, Andrea, I was kind of, All I would do was, uh, I used to do a lot of colouring, a lot more colouring, and then the layered stamping sort of came out, so I tipped a bit more to that. And now that the stencils, especially the stencils and the hot foiling, and there's some really good combinations that you can do, and just sort of stretch your supplies and have fun. All right, but if you want a quick way to create a card, the stencils really work well. Did I miss some? I feel like I've missed some. Probably not. I don't think it matters when I'm only half colouring it anyway. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, can you hear me? I just muted. Oh, look, there's one. I knew I'd missed a couple. Thank you, <laughs> Cordelia. <laughs> Does anyone else who's addicted to stencils? I think they're um, a really affordable way to get a great look on a card. But they're also awesome if you don't have confidence with colouring. That must be it. What have I got? I've got the stem. And I'm feeling like I could do that with even the pink sand. And this is how I clean my brush. Probably could zoom in a little bit, couldn't I? 
So everyone finished their Christmas cards? What are we? We're nearly in December, guys. <laughs> Not pretty. They are very easy to use. So it almost, it does look brown here, doesn't it? It has got that pink undertone. It's a real, whoopsie, look what I did there. <laughs> Focus. And this line here, that's just separating, that's just to let me know that that is a separate part of the stencil. That's not actually something that gets stenciled. I'm going to die cut this anyway so we'll work around that. But yeah I really, um, one thing I do like about this set is the unusual colour combinations. All right so I've still got a few Christmas cards to do that's what I was talking about but I um Got another Christmas video coming up soon, so I don't know if you caught my last one, but I'll have one. I'm getting it edited at the moment, so we still need more inspiration for some Christmas cards. Keep an eye out for that because that'll be coming up very shortly. I'll go back to work um, tomorrow because I've been on holidays, but I keep taking this away. I'm not finished yet. Um, my back, just in case anyone wants to know, is awesome. It's doing really well. And I was doing these exercises to help my back and pop my rib. <laughs> I can't catch a break at the moment, but that's okay. I had a bad day with it yesterday, but it's um, feeling better today, so that's good. Happened a week ago. So exercising is officially bad for you. It's up there with housework. <laughs> so I'm not going to exercise anymore. So how quick is that? I've coloured that in no time at all, even with a mistake. That's okay. We'll work around it. And huge dye alert. You could fussy cut this or do it direct on the uh, card. But I'm um, lucky enough to have the dye. <laughs> so I'll just cut this out through. Um, it'll fit in any of the six inch die cutting machines so like the platinum six or the big shot gemini junior oh good on you linda i don't get enough cards made for the ones that i send half the time Those Christmas challenges that run all year, I think they're a really good idea because it just means that you're not doing that great big rush at the end. One thing that does help me is the um, Card Maker Success Summit because I get started in, that happens in July. So that means I'm actually started before. I need another one of them, don't I? How cool is that colour? I'm really happy with that. Yeah, you know what I'm doing here, don't you? have been here before, you already know. I'm actually going to double this up. Yes, Deb, I, I saw that. 
that caring hearts the card drive I just can't believe how many cards I've forgotten the name of the girl that used to run it in the US but um I used to get tens of thousands of cards so I don't know how you manage that I mean I can't I can't imagine how you did what you did because I helped Linda do it up here one year and it's a huge job right so what I'm doing here is just basically joining two die cuts together because I want to pop this up on the card front now I'm going to need some ideas from you guys about what you want to see from me next year because I have no major plans I have some ideas myself so I will not bother you too much over the next month or two I'll have some videos coming out but um, I might send out an email and um, find out do a bit of a poll and find out what it is that you want from me because yesterday just really brought it home I think I was just getting a bit overwhelmed because I've been away I usually find it takes me a day or two just to get back in the swing and I just couldn't decide what to do <laughs> for today <laughs> so any help would be greatly appreciated now what else did I have here today I've got there it is yes Tracy that's a good one how to think when you start with a blank card so that's um, a good question because I was struggling with that yesterday myself so in the end I went and made a cup of tea as you do I'm channeling my inner Michelle here <laughs> and I ended up um, what I did was actually decided to revert to flowers because that's something that inspires me I did want to use a new product and that threw me because I had my mind set on doing something already and then I realized it was the sulfur cosmos I just did a hop with um, uh, Alton knew the other day and I thought oh that's a beautiful flower I wanted to play with it a bit more and then realized it's out of stock already which is really disappointing so I um, had to switch switch plans and then I remembered about the inks and thought well what can I do with the inks you know like I know people are probably going to have questions or want to see them in action because they are new so that helped me so sometimes what I do is find a product that inspires me or a color palette that's always a good place to start so this time I started with the colors like with the ink colors and thought it'd be nice to do some blending so then I went through my stash and I saw the Magnolia Ballerina set and then I just went that was it so once I saw that stamp set that inspired me to um, try the stencils because I hadn't used the stencils on it before it's going to be a bit small do you think I have to go where's that bit that's no good there too much white we could blend a background behind it or splatter what do you reckon splatter or blend yeah so what I did was oh hi Laurie welcome <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What'd you say? I'm trying to read and create. Sorry, I should focus on one thing. I find that very hard to do. You know that though. So I um, will look at my products. Sometimes Michelle gave me a great idea. Um, have a look at my upcoming projects or have a look at my um, something I've done that I really like and then be inspired by that and change it up. So there are, I have actually done a video, I might even do a video on that if you want. So usually look at a colour palette, a photo inspiration board or um, stencil my panel. The back one, now I've just done this haven't I? Splatter the darkest shade. Did you mean stencil this one on top? I think there's a bit of a delay today, so I'll stencil the back one. I'm not going to be easy to stencil now I've done that, is it? <laughs> this is going to be fun. All right. Let's do it. A darker colour. Colour. Does it need to be... Where am, where's my colour swatches? Probably that jade, isn't it? Smush it. Oh gosh. Now it's all getting exciting, isn't it? <laughs> um, I've lost my duva. My paper towel. I think new inks are... Sk oh, smoosh it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to see much of it, are you, anyway? Such a big flower on top. A watery smush. I don't know what you mean by that. Would that work on the Nina? Well, it kind of worked, didn't it? <laughs> All right. So another way, Tracy, you can get inspired is to use a minimal palette of stuff and minimal supplies. I'm looking for another stencil. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> There's one. There's one. So dare I say sometimes we have too much stuff. <laughs> Don't tell my husband I said that. That looks right, doesn't it? Going darker. So if you just grab four things, four of your favourite supplies, not including like your bait, the card base and Like it. One set of stamps, a packet of pencils or Copics, and a 
sentiments. Go for it. Oh, I don't mind that. <laughs> uh, I can't find a thing. That doesn't matter though, does it? So I think that'll be enough. No idea. I reckon that makes a nice card on its, on its own. Let's just get rid of the other bit. <laughs> no, no, we can do this. Right. Great idea. And I love this. Such a big. I like that. All right. Christmas cutout. Oh, Wendy, are you making cards with those or gift tags? Because, you know, if you're like me, I usually will um, wrap my gifts and then go, hmm, I haven't made any tags yet. Which reminds me, I will need to make some tags. Although I'm working this Christmas, so there won't be much happening. Which I don't mind. It means I won't have to work next Christmas. Typically. I do need a sentiment. My favourite ones at the moment. Uh, I'm using that so much. I was thinking about using that on a blended panel. But never have many happy birthdays. So hey, hugs. Hugs is always good for any time. Where's that mistake over there? I think it needs to be in black. Do you agree? Yes, that's a good idea, Tracy. When I lived overseas, I used to do that, shop online. Which was kind of handy, then I didn't have, because then I could shop, send stuff to Australia without having to send it from the UK. I could just, because postage has become ridiculous. That's if you can get it posted. Michelle, I don't know what that no is for. <laughs> Was it no for the black? guys no don't oh don't toss it <laughs> well that makes sense uh, I'm doing a lot less stamping than I used to I don't know if anyone else is the same. I actually really enjoying dyes in the last year or two. Dyes, stencils, um, and hot foil. <laughs> don't cut the petals off. It's too big for my card. I need to make mega envelope for it. All right, is that going to be enough? 
It's a miracle I don't lose my dyes after this. Okay. You're not going to see anything in the background. I do. Have to cut petals. This will work. What could possibly go wrong? Yes. <clears throat> um, I've been trying to do it all. <laughs> so, alcohol markers for me are really relaxing. way to add colour. They just take a lot longer I think than a lot of the other techniques. So if I've got time, something I really enjoy doing, hopefully that'll be enough. Which set did I get this from? It's the verse. I think this is the versatile greetings. Yeah. I still like it like that. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Now we need to focus. We're going to make a card today. That was my plan. <laughs> Oh. I don't think that looks bad. I'll cut it off. It won't know. It was never ever going to totally fit anyway, was it? That looks better, doesn't it? Can you remember where that was for me? Hmm? Okay. Oh, here it is. <laughs> no! Do you want me to find that <laughs> stencil? Is it looking lost to you, Michelle? Struggling. Lack of stamen. So we're in agreement. We cover that there then. Focus. Where was it? It was like that, wasn't it? And I need another double up. Heck. So you're never going to see it, Michelle. <laughs> Not if I do it right. Hopefully. That's in the right spot.
Thanks for your help today. <laughs> oh, no, Wendy, you want me to? I'm going to cover them up, aren't I, pretty much? You won't see them, will we? Look. Oh, you kind of do, don't you? <laughs> Just post it like that. <laughs> Not at all, Michelle. <laughs> You're never going to be an old egg. Oh. I'm shaking like I've had too much coffee. I don't drink coffee. Is it getting there? Are we nearly done? <laughs> RIP petals. So that's got to be popped up. This is why I don't make fast cards. Not a fast girl. I need the black ones. I don't know if you've noticed, if you are doing... Um, black sentiments if you have black foam squares you're less likely to see it behind it doesn't look for some reason it pops um it hides it better we'll see if that theory works today live bit fat to raise Gosh, everyone's here. Welcome. You know, I'm going to have to go back and read the comments, find out what you guys have been up to, chatting about. <laughs> now, am I right to say that um, Canada have already had their Thanksgiving? I think they still call it Thanksgiving. I might be wrong in that even. Theirs is um, earlier. We don't have all these whole. I don't know how you guys keep up this close to Christmas with all these holidays. <laughs> send me your address, Tracy, and I'll send you the petals. I'll get them out of the bin. <laughs> if you send me your address, I'll send you the card. I'm nearly there, guys. What do you think of the inks? I like the colours. Then, lots of new inks always have good colours. That's straight? No, not really. Like, that bit's not. Does it need anything else? What do you reckon? Does it need bling? Other than that centre of the flower. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling it there. Where am I? Oh. Yeah, 
worked into a frenzy. No splatter. Always bling. Maybe I can add that after. Okay. I think that's it for the day. <laughs> what are you guys up to? You're going to be prepping in the kitchen? Some of you probably. <laughs> I know. Look, this is me. I've been at the beach. I got a little bit um, burnt. Not much. But sometimes in Australia, we have um, on our weather alerts, we'll have UV ratings and they will tell you eight minutes till burn time. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if you get that on yours. I hope everyone has the most amazing day tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed today's card. I'm going to send out an email in December or early January, find out um, what you want from me next year but in the meantime if you do have any ideas reach out to me I'm always excited to try something new or refresh something or update something and I'm glad that you joined me today to help get my mojo back and I loved all of your wonderful ideas <laughs> except for doing the center of the stenciling because I can't find it seriously I can't see it <laughs> And I hope you're all getting ready for Christmas. I won't see you live probably till after that. And unless something happens and I jump on, but I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be making some Christmas gifts this year. I'm going to get the cricket out and practice with that. Adding, I've got some drink bottles and T-shirts. I'm going to have a bit of fun with that. So I thought it'd be fun this year to do some um, more handmade style gifts. So be fun <laughs> we'll see <laughs> i may or may not share of it share it with you <laughs> depends how it goes all right everyone thank you um if you did like today's video please click on the thumbs up button i have added some links in the description below if you do happen to go shopping for black friday i've got a couple of my favorite stores there i had three parcels delivered yesterday and one the day before, so I think that's my limit. <laughs> and it wasn't even Black Friday yet. It's because they did all these early Black Friday sales. So <laughs> I will have to do some handmade tags too, yeah. I'm just reading, what did Andrea say? Oh, that's no good, Andrea. I would contact them at Culture Creations. I think they're based in... Brisbane so that doesn't make sense they they got I contacted them not long ago and they got straight back to me my trouble is I think if you do need to send it back to them they want you to pay the postage and things but maybe they can give you an idea or I don't know um, work something out for you or tell you a better sandwich they have got all their sandwiches on their web website for all their products but Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you real soon. I will have some more Christmas video, another Christmas video or two coming out, as well as um, some of the regular content. So if I don't see you before Christmas, have the most amazing time, and I'll be back with you in the new year. Bye.